Hi, my name is Jim Moyle, and today we'll learn about how to keep your inbox apps up to date without the store. We can see that we've got a snipping tool open, and this is a VM that has been deployed without store access. So if we have a look at the version of this app, we can see that it is out of date. And this is a ga the latest gallery uh, image fresh from, uh, fresh from Microsoft. So what do we do about this if we can't update apps via the store because we've got no store access? Well, first of all, let's download the latest version of the snipping tool. We can do this using Winget. Uh, this is my local machine now. This does have store access whereas the VM I'm working in doesn't. So if I search for the snipping tool, I can see that I found it from the source, which is the MS store. And I've got the ID of that uh, tool. And the ID starts with a nine. If it starts with a nine, then that is an MSIX file. So let's have a quicker look, a quick look at the metadata for this. Uh, it doesn't still doesn't tell us that the installer type is MSX, it just says MS store and the product ID doesn't doesn't give us a version either. But let's have a download and, and look at this. I'm going to say uh, skip dependencies, we'll go into that in a little bit. And I'm going to restrict the architecture to 64 bit. I'm going to agree to the terms. And we're going to download the snipping tool from the store. There we go. Now, if I have a look at that inside my downloads folder, then I have got the 64-bit uh, versions of the snipping tool. Um, it's called Screen Sketch. Um, in the file name, but that trust me, that is the snipping tool. Now, what we'll do is we'll do the normal process uh, as described in episode one of this series to convert that to a Appetach disk image. And now we can see that inside the Azure portal. Once it's been imported into the Azure portal, we can look at the properties. And we can see we've got some dependencies here. So here we are showing the four dependencies that this application needs to run on my VM. So how do we find out if we have these dependencies within the VM? Well, we can do get Apex package. I'm just gonna take the name and the version and sorting the object via name. And we can see all of the current uh, packages that come with the gallery image. We can obviously look through these to check. So for instance, I can see that the Microsoft UI XAML is uh, 2.7 and we needed 2.8. We can also show whether we have these uh, apps or not via um, uh, doing get Apex package with the name. And we can see we do have the vclibs.140 uh, in there. And we do have the UWP desktop uh, framework. We need to check the versions of these against um, the latest versions that are out there. So we definitely know we're missing two and we're unsure of the versions of the other ones. So if I go back to my local PC, and remember this is what the dependencies look like before. Let me just uh, clear that screen. And previously, we skipped the dependencies. But now we're gonna download, and I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any prompts, and I haven't skipped the dependencies now. So what's going to happen is the store is going to see what the dependencies for this package is, and it's going to allow me to download all of those dependencies that I need.
Now that's downloaded, let's have a quick look in my downloads folder. And we can see we've got a lot more files than we did previously. Now we've got, um, because I didn't do the architecture, we forgot the ARM stuff as well. But the dependencies is what I'm interested in. Now some of these are older ones, but we can see that um, I've got the UI XAML in both 64-bit and 32-bit, and I've got everything I need. So I'm gonna copy the latest versions of these to a bit of centralized storage, and I can access them from here. Now let's install um, both the 64-bit and the 32-bit of the uh, XAML 2.8. Now, obviously you can do this with um, PowerShell. And so if you're creating um, a gold image, you can automate this. You can even um, get these deployed to sort of device targeting via Intune or anything else you like. Now, I know, because I've read the manifest for these files, that this version is a newer version than the one that I can see um, is installed. So there is version 3.0.7.0.4 for the UWP desktop, and it's actually version 3.3.7.28. So I've got all four of the frameworks installed in both 64-bit and 32-bit versions. So now if I have a look for the UI XAML, I can see I have both of those installed, 32-bit and 64-bit. I'm just going to close that snipping tool. At this point, I should have all the frameworks installed. I can see that these are frameworks, so let's just copy and paste this. And I'm actually going to um, change the file name to .zip. Now I can open this as a zip file. And if I look in the manifest, so the apex manifest.xml file, this will tell me everything I need to know about this application. We have the description and the version and if I actually search for framework, we can see right at the top here, I've got a property that says framework is true. Frameworks can't be deployed via AppAttach. So that's why we've needed to install them inside the VM. So I'm just gonna make sure that all of the frameworks that I need are installed. And once I've got them installed, then I can then deploy the newest version of the snipping tool via AppAttach. So if I go back to my portal, and I'm going to say, I'm going to assign this to my host pool, which is the no store host pool. And I'm just going to leave that a couple of minutes so uh, everything sorts itself out in the background. And I'm going to log off and log back on to my VM.
Now I've logged on, let's have a look for the snipping tool. And we can see that we now have the latest version of the snipping tool delivered via Appattach without the need to update it. And you can do this for any of the uh, inbox apps on your, um, on your system. You will find that those four um, frameworks um, are common across, across most of the inbox apps, so you only need to install them once for uh, pretty much all of the inbox apps. So that's how to update all of your inbox apps without the store using Appetouch. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, then hit subscribe. Thanks very much.